Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Grace Abounds Homestead. I am walking down the path. I um, wanted to show you a little bit of progress on some things that we've done on the homestead um, garden-wise. Um, so I thought this morning we would check out a few things that we did um, that made me smile because I am waiting to get the garden. That's what I like to do. That's my passion. Um, and so it's been a little frustrating knowing that you really can't do very much right now that the spring is going to be a big time for us. We have many plans, um, that we are going to be doing, but even every little bit counts that we're doing so that we can get closer to be self-sufficient in our food. And that's the one thing that we are trying to achieve. So it's a big day for us today. Um, in general, it's going to be a long day as I had found a studio for those of you that are just following me. And that is most of you. Um, let me just refresh you. We, um, this time last year, my family made a decision to move from urban Daytona area and the beach to a uh, homestead here in northern Arkansas in the foothills. So we made a decision to move. Uh, the Lord was leading me toward this. And we all decided that we were going to do this. And this time last year, we were actually signing the papers on our property. So we had come down, checked it out, and we were signing the papers and we purchased the property. So we had made pl um, plans to get our house ready and sell. And that all happened. I sold my house in one day in Daytona. And we got here, um, I think it was June 28th. So um, that would be my daughter and son-in-law and my grandkids uh, from Our Little Piece of Heaven. Check them out on Instagram, guys. You will be seeing them in our videos once we get going um, even more. I, I decided not to do every single step of the process of everything that we're doing here on the homestead with the building and all that because I feel like you see so much of that out there. So we're just going to bring you know little videos of progress of what's going on so you see um things happening and not so much of somebody digging or somebody doing a backhoe or any of that um i'll probably i've been posting uh stills and little clips on instagram but on youtube we kind of want to be a little bit more of a lifestyle our life in grace on the homestead which will include many things that we love to do so anyway um, I was a newborn photographer in Daytona and I moved here and thought it would be very easy to find a studio. It has not been very easy and I was just about to give up and retire. Um, I wanted to go three more years until my husband's pensions kicked in because he has retired and um, I couldn't find anything. And so I put one last thing out there. I said, Lord, if this is meant to be, if I'm meant to retire, I will accept it. Um, if it's meant to be, and something told me to put one more thing out there asking if any, in search of, if anybody knows of anywhere. And somebody messaged me and said, Hey, I have a room. I have a, come see if it would be big enough for a studio. And I went there and, um, with a little TLC, and what we call putting lipstick on a pig, I was able to transform the little space. And today we're moving all my props and stuff into the studio. So we finished laying the floor, um, something very inexpensive. I'm not putting much money into that. We did some painting and some cheap floor and some rugs and dividers. And um, because I'm only gonna do this for a couple more years and then I'm done. So I have another venture on the property that we will be doing that was part of uh, a business that we had in Florida and we're hoping to continue that here, which will be in the spring. I'll be bringing that to you also, but I'm going to keep that a secret for right now. So we are going to be moving all that today, which has been on storage in our property. Unfortunately, in the midst of uh, getting into that and looking to see what was going on, I have had some loss of some props that got molded and stuff. So that's kind of disappointing. But just materialistic things, right? So God will provide. So anyway, 
I'm walking up the path. Hey, Levi. My big puppy is with me. And I want to show you some things that we got done. So, oh, he's chewing on my scarf. So, we, uh, when I was at Tractor Supply, this wonderful lady in the plant material um, greenhouse was like, hey, the plants are on sale for 20% off and I'm gonna give you 50% more if you um, wanna take them, I wanna see them have a good home. And I thought to myself, well, I'm not quite ready for plants yet, so what am I gonna do? And I just, I couldn't pass it up. So we um, bought some plant material and it has been raining here and where we live, it's very rocky and clay um, deep down. So it's really hard to dig. And we thought the, the soil is gonna be softer, it's gonna be easier. So let's go ahead and get these planted. So I am thrilled to say that I have got a little bit planted toward uh, self-sufficiency um, on the homestead with our own food. So I'm going to, so I am going to um, turn the camera around a minute. This is our driveway. We're gonna see Levi, my big standard poodle, the giant one. And we have water line that's going in that's gotta get covered up. But when we had our cabins delivered, we were told that we needed to take out a few trees to get the cabins in here, which I have to say, was not necessary because the cabins went nowhere near the trees. And we were really disappointed because of the fact that it was a beautiful tree-lined driveway. So we have come up with a plan to add a few trees and add a little bit more um, privacy also. So our first red maple we planted. So this is beautiful. I will not get to tap any syrup out of that tree because it takes 40 years, but I think my great grandchildren will. <laughs> um, so that will be awesome for then. Uh, barring Jesus doesn't come first, which I think is gonna happen. Uh, this world cannot sustain itself the way that we are going. Um, amen to that, guys. So that is the first um, tree that we have planted on the homestead. Um, this is the area, guys, where we had to take out um, some trees along here. So we've got some arborvitaes going to go in on that side for privacy and arborvitaes that are going to go in there for privacy and probably putting in an, um, another couple of the um, maple trees in this area and a couple over there because some of these little teeny tiny ones that are barely hanging on are going to be coming out. So that was exciting, guys, getting that tree planted. And um, yeah, it's our first tree, but there's more. Okay, this is our second tree. I've always wanted a weeping willow tree. Uh, couldn't be possible in my yard in Florida as they were too big. It would be too much shade for the gardening that I was doing. So we planted our weeping willow tree, which is right on the side of our house. It's gonna be beautiful right here when it grows and I'm happy that we were able to get that tree in. Now guys, we are heading down by where the garden area is going to be. Maybe we should peek in and check on the girls. They have gotten so big. You can see we have our roll of wire right there. We're gonna do a small run, um, 20 feet um, by eight feet is what it's gonna be and I have enough to do that right there, but let's take a peek in, guys. Levi, no. Girls! Look at them. They're so grown so much. They've grown so much, guys. They're roosting. They're just having a really good time in here. They're even going up in the nesting boxes and pulling it down and sitting in there. I see they've got it pulled down over there. But they're just beautiful girls. They're just beautiful girls. Hey, hey, sweetie. Hi, sweetie. The white ones are so sweet. Sorry, Levi, you cannot go in the chicken coop. Anyway, so just wanted to give you a shot of them. They're doing so awesome. Now, 
This area I've shown you is going to be the garden area and it looks pretty uneventful right now, guys, but in the spring, there is gonna be some dirt work being done in here. All raised beds, a big greenhouse for our tropical fruits that we've brought with us. I'm bound to determine that, but some of the things that they had on clearance that she gave me, um, we paid pennies for really, I, like five bucks a piece, were three grapes, um, a Concord, I'm not even sure what they are. Um, let me see if I can see what this one is. This one is a um, Catawamba grape. Um, that is a Concord back there. Let me see where it's at. Yes, Levi. And this one here is a green grape and it is, hold on, let's check it out. Niagara. And then our turkey fig. Now we had a frost, of course, it was 30 degrees last night. They've all been watered in and they're gonna get watered um, tomorrow. But I see that the frost got to it. But um, the grapevines are not staying. These are just here temporarily. They are actually gonna go over candle panels and from in the garden. Um, they're gonna be hooked to the raised beds. So those are gonna get moved. We did get in two of the thornless blackberry bush. This row up on the top is all gonna to be raspberries and blackberries. And then I have elderberry. This has been in for about a week. It's went dormant, pretty much. And then these are all blueberry bushes. And I wanna say they're rabbits something, blueberry bushes. So we have nine of them. Um, on the very end over there, we are going to add some more elderberry. And this is going to kind of be, this is along the dammed part of our new pond that was dug. So this is going to kind of be our berry section. And we also have wild blackberries, a big patch of them up in there. So we will be foraging the blackberries too um, from there. So, so awesome to be able to get some things planted it just makes my heart joyful because um i love this stuff we are trying to get into um maybe in the next week or so if we can if we can find some fruit trees um we are going to try to get in a few fruit trees before it's too late um to plant so um there's about six of them that we want to get for our family, we feel like a, a pear, a peach, an apple of whatever we choose, a plum, a cherry, and an apricot tree is what we're really wanting to get here. That would be enough for us to can, keep for ourselves, and to sell some at our farm stand and to give away some to our family and friends, so or anybody who needs it. I think we will be able to produce enough fruit at some point to do that. So we're looking for that. That makes me happy and of course in the spring the big garden project will go on um and it'll be wonderful that's what I, that's what i'm waiting for um it's just so important for us to be self-sufficient on our food and i love fruits and vegetables i could eat those with some rice and noodles all the time um i like to keep it light and have salads and just vegetable salads I like like to eat. Toss it with a little um, oil and vinegar. It's so good. So that is our hope. That is our plan. Thank you guys for coming along today. I am so blessed that you follow on Instagram and that um, you follow on YouTube. Um, I know that we haven't had tons and tons of YouTube videos, but we are kind of waiting to get settled a little bit and then get into our life and the different things that are gonna happen here. We have a bunny hutch that's gonna be built. Um, you see in the chicken coop, so you can imagine what we're gonna do for the bunnies. We have two bunnies um, that we brought from the homestead in Daytona, uh, Harry and Stanley. And they're pet bunnies, they're not for food. Um, that isn't something we've chose to do yet, so Levi, stop. No, be good to the chickens. 
So um, there are pets and my grandchildren love them. So they got to have something special also, right? So we'll be doing that. I'll be, you know, filming pictures on Instagram and then of course a tour on, on, on YouTube. That's kind of how we're going. So guys, I like to cook. I like to craft so many things we're going to do. I like to decorate. So those are the kind of things that we want to bring to you. Plus tech will be driving around. That's our tractor doing some stuff. Um, we are going to be putting something in the very back three acres of our property. Um, uh, that is kind of be kind of, so, so, uh, sorry, surprising and unique. Um, so I'm going to leave it at that. It will, um, Remind us of our home in Florida. That's all I'm going to say about it. Anyway, I love you. Have a blessed Sunday. Remember to be the light in someone's life. Thanks for watching and many blessings to you and your family. If you enjoyed your visit with us today, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell.